We woke up to a lot of your posts on social media about these signs popping up on the parking garage in Fort Pierce on the corner of Orange and Depot Avenue. We reached out to Brightline and they say these signs don't mean that this is a done deal here in Fort Pierce. Those RFPs between Stewart and Fort Pierce are due on the 22nd of this month. A high speed train putting two Treasure Coast cities, Fort Pierce and Stewart, on the possible fast track of development. We first stopped by Fort Pierce, where the topic of conversation was loud and clear. Looking at it right now, it's so amazing, man. The possibility struck a special chord with local business owners like Stacy Dunn. I'm making a little pineapple here. Over at the Cake Lady, who says she wants more people to know about the hidden gem that is Fort Pierce. I do feel like Stewart's already on the map. Yeah, people know Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Stewart, Port St. Lucie, Vero, and Orlando. They skip right over Fort Pierce, and it's beautiful here. This is a very good location, especially for my business. <laughs> Less than an hour away at the Gypsy Cottage in downtown Stewart, business owner Kristen Kupuris is also excited about the possibility of a bright line hub coming to the area. Why not make it even easier to get here? You know, you've already, you may have heard of Stewart. Now you can get off in the train right in cute little historic downtown Stewart. Locals also excited that Stewart's RFP so far does have a plan for parking. Should the station come to Stewart, Martin County and city leaders have reached an agreement stating Brightline and the county will split the cost. Meanwhile, the city will cover the cost of a garage and 54 additional spots. Until the decision is made, people in both cities have the same message. Brightline, please consider Fort Pierce. I'm to Stewart. I love Brightline and I hope you make it here. No matter the outcome, business owners found a common thread. Either place is going to be good for the community. On the Treasure Coast, Chris Gilmore. WPTV News Channel 5.